Right, they're off out in the middle of the track. Royal Ascot rushes out quickly for the lead. Along the inside, Ricky Rainey, time a second. Along the inside, Steady Airline a third. Keystone Smarty on the outside, fourth. They go around the first turn and down the back stretch. Royal Ascot has the lead. Keystone Smarty right after him on the outside. Second, Ricky Rini time along the rail. Third, Ombro Nesbitt on the move on the outside. Fourth, Steady Airliner fifth. That's Sir Dalray pacing six. Four lengths back to Black Gamecock seven. Parked on the outside, Invincible Shadow 8, Otero Hanover's ninth, trailing the field, Baron Gerard. They're by the quarter pole in 28 and 2. Midway of the paddock turn the first time. Along the inside, that's Royal Ascot on the outside. Challenging for the lead is Ombro Nesbitt. They straighten out, approach the grandstand in a half mile. Ombro Nesbitt now takes the lead. On the outside, Royal Ascot along the inside. It is a Keystone Smarty third. Ricky Rini time, 58 and 1 for the half mile. They go for the track record. Into the uh, clubhouse turn, the final time. Ombro Nesbitt with the lead. But saving ground along the inside, Keystone Smarty. Parked on the outside, Royal Ascot third. Ricky Rini time is fourth. Steady Airliner fifth. Sir Dalray moves up on the outside, a closer sixth. They go down the back stretch. It's Ombro Nesbitt but drawing away by two. Royal Ascot second. Rushing up quickly is Sir Del Rey. They're at the three-quarter pole in 128 and 1. Into the final turn. Ombro Nesbitt along the inside. Sir Del Rey challenging for the lead on the outside. Three lengths back to Royal Ascot in third. They're at the top of the stretch. An eighth of a mile of pace. Ombro Nesbitt along the inside. Sir Del Rey on the outside. These two great horses battle to the wire. Ombro Nesbitt Sir Dalry on the outside, closing his steady airliner. Sir Dalry has that lead. Sir Dalry in front. The photo sign here in the uh, third race. Please hold all power mutual and big triple tickets until the result of the third race has been declared official. Involved in the tight win photograph in the third race is number 10, Sir Del Rey. Also in that win photograph, number two, Steady Airliner, number eight, Ombro Nesbitt. Please hold all power mutual and big triple tickets until a result has been declared official. The judges have posted the complete order of finish and the unofficial winner of the United States Pacing Championship, the first leg here at Roosevelt Raceway, is won by the defending champion of this race, the Harness Horse of the Year in 1973, he comes back to the scene of his great triumph last year when he equaled the track record. Number 10, Sir Del Rey, a five-year-old bay horse by Porterhouse from Queens Crown by Queens Adios. Owned by the Alicard Racing Stable of Los Angeles, California and driven to victory this evening by Jim Dennis. And is the vice president and general manager of the very successful Western Harness Meeting at Hollywood Park in California, where the third and final leg of this great series will be contested in September. This the first leg this evening, won by Sir Dalray, who has won every leg of the United States Pacing Championship contested thus far in two years. He swept the three race series last season. He wins tonight. He goes to Sportsman's Park in Chicago next month for the second leg and then on to California and Hollywood Park for the third and final leg. Racing fans, the winner of the 1974 first round of the United States Pacing Championship is the Harness Horse of the Year, Sir Del Rey.